My name is Tatiana Prandt. I'm a dental hygienist. For the last 10 years, I have been working as a clinical instructor at the School of Oral Healthcare, University of Copenhagen, teaching dental hygiene students how to use LM instruments. This video case is step-by-step -step illustration of my choice, how to simplify hand instrument selections and how to rationalize a professional approach to scaling, making it more time official and using only few periodontal instruments combinating different periodontal strokes. My choice of instruments for uh, maintenance patients, which are common for recall appointments and uh, don't have uh, big uh, calculus deposits, but uh, only small, sometimes medium calculus deposits uh, with uh, four occasion involvement. I love using synthets because it uh, makes my work very time efficient and very effective. It's a set of synthet, synthet for posterior teeth and uh, synthet anterior. A sickle LM23, which are used for cross scaling or maybe for evaluating finishing strokes and a universal curate Panhard 5.6, which has a very nice long terminal shank and tiny working blade, which makes perfect for scaling a bottom and ceiling of fouacation as a combination with synthet in posterior areas. It is uh, recommended to start uh, scaling the first quadrant, uh, making short, precise vertical strokes on the fascia distal surfaces in combination with um, some uh, horizontal strokes if it is necessary. You can choose doing all the distal surfaces with the vertical strokes to start with. Moving in the uh, initial direction. Scaling all molars and premolars with mini sunset. Notice that you don't need to flip the instrument doing the mesial surfaces. You are just moving your finger rest and you are continue using the same working end just for mesial surfaces. And changing a little bit your finger rest using another kind of strokes horizontal or oblique strokes, you are doing the vocal surfaces. You are doing all the molars and premolars in a upper jaw, the first quadrant, in the same way. You can continue scaling the same side, but the posterior area using the synthet making a series of uh, overlapping vertical strokes and horizontal strokes if it is necessary. We are moving on to the mesial surfaces not changing the working end of instruments and be very careful about uh, angulation. The terminal shank is needed to be parallel to the tooth surface. You are using the same technique when you are using the greasy but not changing between the greasy 13-14 to greasy 11-12 we are using it the same working end. Using a combination 
of the article and if it is necessary like it is shown here horizontal strokes notice that synthet is very good for using uh, for horizontal strokes for this uh, tip down or toe down technique using this kind of movement This technique is very good for distal surfaces. You can scale all palatal and lingual surfaces using the same instrument. And again, using a combination of uh, horizontal and vertical strokes. You are just starting at uh, Primoras. And the curved blade is perfectly adapted to this uh, cavity of a palatal root. And you can do some horizontal strokes on a palatal surfaces. With a tip down or tip up technique, moving to the mesial directions. And you are doing small, short, precise strokes. And of course, if um, there is a need to scale deep pockets, you need to use vertical strokes for this. Proceed scaling the lingual sides, moving the toe of instrument to mesial direction and just slide gently under gingival margin. Nearly small detecting strokes because we are removing just small sized calculus. You can scale full occasion with a combination of two instruments. Sunset for posterior teeth and universal curate band hut. You are starting doing uh, mesial and distal aspects of vocation, applying lateral pressure and keeping very nice parallel angulation to the root. You can see I'm doing now distal aspect of a mesial root. For scaling the bottom of vocation you need to use the universal curate and you are using tiny strokes taking care of close distance to pulpa so the movement and the pressure is very different using the synthet and the universal curate gentle movements and you can uh, finish doing the bottom of four occasion, additionally using a pile. Your tactile sense is an excellent scaling of, uh, for occasion with synthet. Notice that you can do different strokes with uh, synthet for posterior teeth. When uh, we are talking about maintaining patients, sometimes it's needed to be just gentle, deplacking strokes without applying big lateral pressure. Just gentle movements. First, doing the distal aspects of mesial root. Then, mesial aspect of distal root. And using again, band hat or bottom of vocation. You can approach palatal root and uh, vocation from the palatal side. It's the best way to do it. And you can see how good the synthet for posterior areas 
to be used here. You can use it on both sides. Finishing the bottom of the location again with universal create part cut five and six if is necessary. You are scaling anterior teeth with the mini swimset anterior and the technique a little bit different from using the crazy one and two because you don't need to do all surfaces on all anterior teeth toward to you at the same time. You are just rotating instrument and doing one tooth at a time using the same working end and just rocking or rotating the tip if it is necessary. What is important here, this is uh, the first third of uh, the working blade is needed to be in contact with uh, root surfaces and you are working with arm up technique. It can be appropriate to use sunset for posterior teeth on anterior teeth when they are inclined backward and when the um, angulation and uh, scaling with um, mini sunset anterior is challenging. You can see it's uh, very nice adapted here and you can have combination of different strokes as well. It is recommended to finish instrumentation doing some vertical evaluating strokes with a sickle. I'm using LM sickle 23 here. You need to note I said angulation of sickle is a little bit different from as you said. And you can also do it in a lower jaw. You need to be very careful with the tip on the root surfaces, making just very short, tiny, nearly detecting, evaluating strokes. Vertical strokes and just under the gingival margin, you are doing finishing horizontal strokes. The scale is perfect in a tight proximal areas and for scaling movements just underneath the contact points. A combination of uh, curates and scale is, after my opinion, the best combination. And uh, I know a lot of clinicians love it. It is very important that you only use one, two millimeters of the tip underneath gingiva, trying to avoid soft tissue trauma. The instrument choice is always up to clinician, but there are so many excellent options.